Today, I'm going to walk through the integration between Azure Play Fab and Azure Databricks. So in front of me, I have Epic Games Lyra demo. We've connected Play Fab to broadcast events out. And you can see these events coming through the Azure Play Fab play stream. These are coming through in real time based off of the different telemetry and events happening inside of that demo. So as these events are coming in real time, PlayFab gives us a clean, easy way to take all of our events and easily ingest that into Databricks. If we go over to the Data tab, we go to Data Connections, we could set up a new connection to Azure Blob Storage. It will look similar to this setup. And all of my data will begin syncing into the Azure Blob Storage. You can manage your events over in the Manage Events tab. You can get a little bit of a view of all of the different events. This particular demo only has 21 events going through. Now that all of your data is landing into Azure Storage within the five minute SLA that Azure PlayFab has, we can easily build the pipeline to do analysis on all of this data. So I can go to the Azure resource uh, search bar and search for Azure Databricks. I can click Databricks and I can hit Create. Once you hit Create, you can have a workspace. Inside of this workspace, you can download our pipeline, our PlayFab pipeline builder to help accelerate this process. But to give a little bit of a high level, all of the data that was coming out of Azure PlayFab, we could see on the left side of this pipeline, we're streaming all of this into real time and we're breaking all of those events out into separate tables specific to each of those events. This pipeline can run in batch or in streaming mode all of the time and give you a real-time view of that data. This is a pretty simple pipeline, but it can handle very complex operations and many layers of curation. So this particular pipeline is built from a notebook that looks like this, where we have a little bit of Python or SQL in this case, uh, this is all built out in SQL. It, it, all of these uh, components are working together inside of the pipeline to stream data and provide those uh, row and column views that are a little bit easier for analysis instead of JSON. This entire notebook is built dynamically from a pipeline builder that we have included out to the public where it looks at that source table where all of that data is being landed uh, and builds out all of the queries to break these out into their respective tables. So you can copy and paste that and easily build out this pipeline, begin looking at your data. There is always changes that you'll want to do to your pipeline, but it provides you the SQL to go and do those changes easily. Then inside of Databricks, not only could you do the ingestion, you begin to do any data science work or machine learning work, you can also build dashboards uh, with uh, different graphs and tables to better understand all of your data. Here is a simple PlayFab analytics dashboard built off of that same data. I could set a refresh schedule and have this refresh in a near real time manner, but I could begin to break down and understand all of different aspects of my game. All of this is done in near real time with very few moving parts, creating a very simple game tech stack with Azure PlayFab and Azure Databricks.